All right, what's going on, guys? I just wanted to show you my 300 today. Uh, before I go extreme with it, I got a couple uh, crazy modifications coming in. Hopefully that'll work out. Um, but I got the 440H motor and 35 amp ESC off the 450X on here. Um, I've got the Lynx main gear. Uh, it's 136 tooth, and I got a 10 tooth Lynx slant pinion on there. Um, I'm going to be running at 90%, so it'll be stock RPM head speed. But um, once I get the frame stiffener in, I'll bump it up to 100. That should bring it up three or 400 RPM. Um, I had a little spill yesterday. I think I lost connection between my transmitter and the heli. So I normally prefer plastic on top for to save the weight. But uh, I got the metal. It's the only thing I have right now, so I threw that on there. I also got the Lynx dampeners. Um, yeah, this thing should be crazy. I got it up to 13 degrees pitch now, so we'll see what happens. The um, only other thing I really did was I cut the canopy because the control arms were getting caught on it. And I got the T-Rex 450 tail on there. But uh, all right, let's see what you could do. Yeah, after I lost the connection too, I also added a satellite, hoping that would solve it. And I had my servo wires running on this side. Um, so I just moved them to the other side. Maybe they interfered or something. I know that happens in cars with stereos and stuff. So hopefully that solves that problem. I'll start off slow here just to make sure everything's all right. I believe I have it all set up right. And we'll see what really happens. Alright, here's nothing. I've got dial one on the Beast X cranked up two notches. Cyclic uh, gain and response. Just make sure I'm not going to lose connection when I go out there again. A little sunny. All right, let's, let's uh, crank her up here. That should be stock head speed. Something didn't feel right there.
It's definitely got way more torque than uh, the stock 320. It's nice. That was nice though. I'm very impressed. Um, I get that frame stiffener in today. I'll go up to 100%. That was three minutes and 30 seconds before I felt the uh, motor start to bog down. Um, I did order a better battery for it. These batteries are kind of old, so I think I'm going to end up with about four minutes. Um, the new battery is also 45C. Uh, continuous and 90 C burst but uh, not really needed for this but for the next crazy upgrade it's definitely going to be needed but uh, I'm real happy with it and I just want to say thanks again to you guys who helped me out with those vibes alright I'll catch you later